on the 21st day of the month of September, in an early year of a decade not too long before our own, the human race suddenly encountered a deadly threat to its very existence, and this terrifying enemy surfaced, as such enemies often do, in a seemingly most innocent and unlikely of places. Downtown, where 
my life I've always been poor I keep asking God what I'm for And he tells me, gee, I'm not sure Sweep that floor, kid, oh I started life as an orphan, a child of the street Here on Skid Row She took me in, gave me shelter, a bed, crust of bread and a job Treats me like dirt, calls me a slop, which I am Cause I constantly pray I'll get out of here Please won't somebody say I'll get out of here Someone give me my shots Or I'll ride here Show me how and I will I'll get out of here I'll start climbing the hill And get out of here Someone tell me I still can get out of here I'm stuck here downtown. Oh, so it was well to get out of here downtown. I was born and alive downtown. No way to get out of here. I don't want to get out of here downtown. I don't want to get out of here downtown. I don't want to get out of here downtown. I don't want to get out of here downtown. I don't want to get out of here So, but has it ever occurred to you that maybe what the firm needs is to move in a new direction? What Seymour's trying to say, Mrs. Mishnick, is, well, we've talked about it, and we both agree. Seymour, why don't you run it back and read that strange and interesting plant? Oh, uh, ready on. on. You see, Mrs. Mishnick, some of these strange and exotic plants Seymour's been tinkering around with are really unusual. And we were thinking that maybe if they were prominently displayed and advertised, then it would attract business. I'm afraid it isn't feeling very well today. Look, now isn't that bizarre? At least! What kind of word of plan is that, Seymour? I don't know. It kind of looks like a flytrap, but it's nowhere in any of the books. So I gave it my own name. I call it an Audrey, too. <laughs> to me? I hope you don't mind. Uh, you see, Mrs. Mushnick, if a strange and interesting plant was placed here in the window, maybe... Maybe what? Do you have any idea just how ridiculous you sound? Just because you put a strange and interesting plan in the middle, people don't suddenly... Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice that strange and interesting plans. What is it? It's an Audrey too. I've never seen anything like it before. No one has. So where did you get it? Well, you remember that total eclipse of the sun a couple of weeks ago? Daddy. I was walking in the wholesale flower district that day. Shoot. And I pass by this place, where this old Chinese man Chang Dadu He sometimes tells me who weird and exotic cuttings Dadu <laughs> Cause he knows, you see, strange plants are my hobby da, 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 do. He didn't have anything unusual there that day No, Dadu And I was about to, you know, walk on by Good boy, you When suddenly, and without warning there was a total eclipse of the sun. It got very dark, and then I heard a strange humming sound, like something from another world. Dadu. And when the light came back, uh, the plant was just sitting there. Oopsie-doo. Just stuck in, you know, among the zinnias. Audrey too. I could have sworn it hadn't been there before, but the old Chinese man sold it to me anyway for a dollar ninety-five. 
Well, that is an unusual story and a fascinating plans. Oh, uh, while I'm here, I might as well take $50 worth of roses. $50? $50? $50? Uh, yes, sir, right away, sir. Oh, uh, could you make a hundred? A hundred? I know it from you. Close the register for the day. Oh, well, uh, I uh, might as well take twice as many then, shouldn't I? Twice as many? Twice as many? Twice as many? Go in the back and fetch this man one hundred dollars worth of fine spray and beauty roses now. Oh my God, I've never believed it. <laughs> thank, thank you very, very much. Yes, sir. That is one strange and unusual plant. Oh, 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 oh Steve, put the plant. What do you call it? Uh, an Audrey two. Put that Audrey two in the counter by the window where all the passes lie. Can see my children. I am taking those all to neighbor. <laughs> What kind of professional drives an old cyclone or the black leather jacket? He's a rebel, Mrs. Mishnick, but he makes good money. And besides, he's the only fellow I got. I hope you enjoy dinner. Good night, Seymour. Good night. Poor girl. Are we still going to dinner? No, Seymour. You're staying right here and taking care of the sick plants. How come it's fainting all the time? I told you, it just wilts like this. The Audrey 2 is not a healthy girl. Just between us, neither is the Audrey 1. Oh, if only I knew what breed it is. What genus? But it's nowhere in any of the books. Well, Preble, my advice to you is figure it out and fast. Look for this little exotic beauty is that for business. You no. Know. You do? I do. So, fix! Good night! Oh, I don't know what else to do for you. I'm much like an Audrey, and they just met you. But I've been going through this with you for weeks. Rowan Wilt, a spurt and flop. Are you a sick little friend? Or are you just plain stubborn? What is it you want? What is it you need? I've given you sunlight. I've given you dirt. You've given me nothing But heartache and hurt I'm begging you sweetly I'm down on my knees Now please Grow for me I've given you plant food And water to sip I've given you pot ash You've given me zip Oh God, how I missed you Oh God, how you tease now please grow for me I've given you southern exposure To get you to thrive I pinched you back hard like I'm supposed to You're barely alive I tried you with levels of moisture From desert to mud I've given you grow lights and mineral supplements What do you want from me but? Ow! Damn roses! Damn thorns! So we look what I did. Hey, hey, you opened up. I wonder what made you do that. I think I know what made you do that. Well, I guess a few drops couldn't hurt. Uh, as long as you don't make a habit out of it or anything. I've given you sunlight. I've given you rain. Looks like you're not happy Unless I open a vein I'll give you a few drops If that'll appease Now please Oh, 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 please Go for me
conclude our interview with Seymour Crowbone, the young botanical... Hey, do you mind if I call you a genius? Gosh, no. The genius, who is about to you, you breed a plant like Fibro unknown to this planet, the Audrey 2. Oh, and just one, one last question, Mr. Crowbone. Do you feed it anything special? Special? Uh, no. It's a secret formula, but it's, uh, not hard to come by. Oh, I see. Well, I'd like to remind our listeners that the Audrey 2 is on display predominantly in Mushnick Skid Row Forest. Oh, I see. Open well, this is radio station. Good address! Good address! ID. The address! Oh well, <laughs> it's still great advertising. I can't believe it. It couldn't be happening. Pinch me, girl! It couldn't be happening. All of this flood of success coming out of the blue. <laughs> I put a sign up right in the front window. An advertisement right in the front window. Stop in and see the amazing new plant, Audrey, too. <laughs> and the really remarkable thing is that people. <laughs> See more that twerp of a clutch finally did something right on you too. Try some nuts, what a blessing this wonderful plan should exist. To break in the buck for me hand over glass. Well, how about oh, you? Oh, you was crazy, more. You sounded sexier than the wolf man. But you didn't mention the address of the shop. How many times have I, I told know. you? I'm sorry. I was nervous. Oh, where's Audrey? She said she'd be here. Forget about Audrey. I've got three more radio interviews lined up for you tomorrow, and the funeral herald examiner wants a picture! If I had a mother, she'd be so happy. You're not the nicest nation, Seymour. <laughs> Who would have believed it? One day he pushed the so My hand and in a snap, or something out of Edgar Allan Poe has happened. Sacred Zap, Tony got to show you never know. One day you're swinging hash, feeling so rejected, lightning flash. You get resurrected, make a splash. Now you're in the big rapissimo, and with a thunder crash, crash kerplunk.
my god, a black eye, and my arms in a kiss. Aww. Still, that Seymour's a cutie. <laughs> Well, if not, he's got inner beauty. And I dream of a place where we can be together at last. <laughs> what kind of room is that, honey? An emergency room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's just a daydream of mine. A little development I dream of. Just off the interstate. Not fancy like a lot of time. Just a little street in a little suburb, far, far from Irby Sweet Rock, where all the houses are so neat and pretty, because they all look just alike, where everybody has the same little lawn out front, and the same little flagstone petty rock back, and all the houses are so neat and pretty, and then there's me and the toaster in a sweet little guy, like Seymour. A matchbox of our own, a fence of real chain link, <laughs> a grill out on the patio, disposal in sink, a washer and a dryer, and an ironing machine in a tract house. We share somewhere that's green. He rakes and trims the grass. <laughs> he loves to mow and weed. I cook like Betty Crocker, and I look like Don Reed. There's plastic on the furniture to keep it. In the pine soul scented air, somewhere that's green. Between our frozen dinner and our bedtime, 9 15. We snuggle watching Lucy on our big, enormous 12 inch Innovation for speeding up and grooming Cause customers are flocking and business has been booming We need refrigeration in our new improved display So we're closed for innovation today Yes indeed, this is the shop you've heard about on Channel 5 News Yes indeed, the Audrey 2 is on display exclusively here We're closed for decoration cause fortune has been smiling So now we're due for painting, new plumbing and retiling We'll make a shift shape show place out our little shop and then Tomorrow we'll be open again I'm doing my best, but all these band-aids make it kind of hard. You've been getting hurt so much lately. I know. Seems like every time I pick up a pruning shears, I slip. <laughs> uh. 
for closer renovation. The swatting down and grooming has business has been thriving since all your shoes been blooming. The phones have not stopped ringing with the customers who say another bunch of peonies, another dozen DCs, geraniums and anemones. I'm Katie Bull and CODs. We're close renovation today. Seymour, did you tell that order to Mrs. Shiva? Oh, Mrs. Shiva? Mrs. Shiva. Mrs. Shiva. Mrs. Shiva. I, I forgot. You forgot? <laughs> See, Mark, let me hear. Let's have a little talk with Mrs. Mushy right here in the corner. Okay. Right here. How can you forget an order like that? <laughs> the Mushnicks are our most important funeral account, and they are dropping down like flies. I'm telling you, Seymour, if we lose their business because of this, then you are finished. Sometimes. Oh, I don't mind. After all, I owe her everything. I mean, she took me out of this kid row home for boys when I was just a little tight. Gave me a warm place to sleep uh, under the counter, nice things to eat like meatloaf and water, floors to sweep and toilets to clean, and every other Sunday off. You know, I think you ought to raise Richard to teach in Seymour. Now they're getting successful, I mean. Why don't you start with some new clothes? <laughs> oh, no offense, but what with the photo sessions and interviews? Important experimental potatoes. That still looks the part. I'm a very bad shop, Audrey. I don't have good taste like you. Well, I could help you pick things out. You could? Sure. You be seen with me in a public place? Sure. You go shopping with me at a department store? Sure. Tonight? Oh, I can't tonight. I've got a date that I like to go with you another time. Sure. I'll pencil you in. I bet you've got a lot of dates now. Huh? Well, not dates exactly, but a lot of gardening clubs have been calling and asking me to give lectures. Gee. I know. Imagine me giving lectures. I never even finished grad school. Well, that doesn't matter. You have life experience. Some experience. I don't even know what it's like to fly in an aeroplane. Me neither. Or read a fancy dinner at Howard Johnson's. Me neither. Or ride a motorcycle. Oh, it's no big deal. And besides, it's dangerous. It is? Extremely dangerous. Gee, I better go fix my face or you'll be here any minute. Excuse me, ladies. Which way to 30 and 30 in Skid Row? I'm afraid that information will cost you and go. Hey, no problem. It's right over there. But if you're like the thousands of others flocking down to see the RG2, you better come back tomorrow, man. This shop is closed today. Oh, <laughs> I'm not here to buy posy girls. I'm here to pick up my date. <laughs> Your date? You ain't by any chance talking about a girl with a black eye and several other medical problems. As a matter of fact, get back, creep! Ladies, ladies, police! I'm really Charus for Sam. Here, choose some nitrous oxide. Why don't you get lost by this brain? The last thing Arden needs is more of your kind. My kind is a very nice kind, ladies. I'm not a monster. And what else would you call it? I would call it. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh this stuff is great. <laughs> I would call it an occupational hazard. Say what? <sighs> you see, girls. My line of work requires a certain fascination with human pain and suffering. Huh? Guys, not right here. This stuff is great. Allow me to explain. When I was young, I just barely cared. My mama noticed some funny things I did. I chewed it up and we're being beat up. I poisoned a piece of when I was done. I find a bad kind of bash in his head. That's what my mama said. What did she say? She said, my boy, I'll think someday you'll find a way to make your natural tendencies pay. You'll be a dentist. You'll be a dentist. You'll have the talent. 
and beg causing things. <laughs> so be dead. People will pay you to be inhumane. Your temperament's run for the priesthood. And teaching what you choose to live. So be dead. You'll be a That's what they're telling me, but... It's okay, Seymour. This is my boyfriend's orange strip fellow, DTS. I'll tell you, God, you say you made the thing, right? Right. Well, I sure as hell wouldn't keep it under a barrel when it's good, though, dumped like this. This avocado could be your ticket to the stars. You could take it to any florist in town and name your price. Hell, so you make a goddamn partner to get their hands on this. I don't care. I'm happy here. <laughs> Sorry, Tiny Go! Oh no, I'm sorry, Doctor! Sorry, what? Sorry, Doctor! That's better. I'm telling you, guy, this is a big green gold mine! Get your ass out of this dump and take the planet with you. What? Must you skip a forest fast like it jumped? You're way me talking. I hear you. He hears him. Should we be leaving now? I'm sorry. Sorry, what? I'm sorry, Doctor! You're gonna train me, star. Well, my bike's outside and double parked, but you think about what I said, Scout. I mean it. You think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. You do that. Okay, I'll just you got the hand. They're riding my back. Then let's go. He'll think about it. He'll think about it. I don't like that guy, Mrs. Mushdick. He should hear the way he talks to Audrey. Got in him on all the kids just said he'll pull it over. No wonder she looks so unhealthy. <sighs> She's enough to make you sick. If he left me, if Seymour left me, why then I be right back where I started, which was broken star Sweet ring. and good and beautiful as she is, she deserves a prince, not a sister creep like him. Close to back oh, wow. house. Disgrace to the dental profession. Seymour! Ma'am? Seymour? How would you like to be my son? <laughs> How would you like to be my own adopted boy? I've never liked him much before, but count the cash is in the drawer. I've got no choice, I must deposit yet! What for? Seymour, I want to be your mom. <laughs> I want to see you climbing up my family tree. I used to think you left a stench, but now I see that you're a mage. So I'm proposing to my son. Come here, Mush Nick and Son. Sounds great. Three words with a ring of fate. So say you all incorporate with me. A glorious dream come true. Mush Nick can't be quite 
chick you What business will do for a G G I might seem to be my son Just say the word I'll get my lawyer on the phone And now Mrs. Mushti don't be rash You always said that I was trash Why are you joking? Excuse the physical expression of my pride Of this sweet paternal mission goes I've held pent up Wash this inside for making the magic you do. Thanks to you, sweet Petunia. Mushnik's taken a junior. And someday when I own this whole shop, I'll remember I owe it to you. Ah, oh, it's so easy. So what if I've been a little on the anemic side? So if I've had a few dizzy spells, a little lightheadedness? It's been worth it, old pal. Well, anyway, I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna run down to Spendrix and grab myself a bite to eat. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> oh boy, not again. Look, just give me a few more days to heal, all right? And then we'll start again the left hand, yeah? Me, me. Have I beg your pardon? Me. Me. You're too weak, you talked, you opened your trap, you think, and you said, Feed me, cowboy! Feed me now! Oh, but I can't, I haven't got much left! Stop me! Oh boy, uh, maybe we can try this hand, but. Oh, have... more, more, more! I know, but you can't get blood out of it! Oh, I need some food! More! Look, <gasps> what do you want me to do? Slip my wrist? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Look, how about I run down to the corner and grab you some nice chopped sirloin? Oh, must be blood. And to eat, that's disgusting. It must be fresh. I don't want to hear this. Feed me. Does it have to be human? Feed me. Does it have to be mine? Feed me. How am I supposed to get it? Feed me, see all. Feed me all night long. <laughs> that's right, boy. You can do it. Feed me, see all. Feed me all night long. <laughs> Cause if you feed me Seymour, I can grow up big and strong. Let's face it, Audrey Chew, you eat blood. How am I supposed to keep on feeding you, kill people? Well, I can make it worth your while. What? You think this is all a coincidence, baby? There's such success around here. Well, you're adopted, baby? But you're a plant and an animate object. What? Does this look inanimate to you, punk? If I can talk and I can move, Who's to say I can't do anything I want? Like what? Well, like deliver, pal. Like so you get everything that your secret, greasy, hot desires. 
Would you like a Cadillac car? Or a guest shot on Jackpot? How about they went ahead of the mic? You gonna get it? Don't you get want it, baby? Huh? How'd you like to be a big wheel? Down and out forever a meal. I'm the best, I gotta get all the wheels. You gonna get it? Don't you gonna get it? I'm your cheater, I'm your friend, I'm your willing slave. Take a chance, feed me, and you know what the kind of feed the kind of way, what the kind of chicken that gives me that grip. Now, come on, Seymour, don't be a puss. Just in your lap, we'll show the battle king tuts. Show some initiative, boy, whacking them guts, and you'll get it. You're gonna get it. I don't know. Should I go and perform mutilation? <laughs> you didn't have nothing till you met me. Come on, kid, what would it be? Money? Girls? What particular girl? How about that? Oh, Audrey! Think it over. There must be someone you can 86 real quiet like. Get me some lunch! Think about a room with the wits. Active Melvin coming in glitz. A little rookie ought to clean a damn sit and you'll get it. Don't uh, get it. Get like a Harley machine. Now you're cooking. Around like I was Yeah, 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 yeah. The guys on the corner turn green. Don't get it. Don't get it. If you want a big profound and you really gotta justify. Take a breath and look around Cause a lot of folks deserve to die Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute mm, That's uh, not a very nice thing to say Uh, come on, baby It's true, isn't it? No What? I don't know anybody that gets to, that deserves to be chopped up and fed to a hungry plant Oh, oh, oh come on Sure you do Get <laughs> <laughs> back Get the hell in there and pick up your goddamn sweet diddy cat! I see why I like my sweet cat! Come on, Mother Jill, so lot. How would you like this, Jimmy? Forget the freaking sweater. Alright, if you're doing hell, what's going on? <gasps> The guy sure looks like plant food to me. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. Yeah. He's so nasty, treating her rough. Yeah, smacking her around and always talking so tough. Yeah. Well, you can be glad and he's got more than enough. Ah, he's glad he's got more than enough. You can be glad and he's got more than enough. Well, what are you waiting for? So go get it. I guess that's me, Dr. Gravello. Do you have an appointment? Seymour Carlborn. We met yesterday. To get the plant. Right. And the band-aid. Right. And the gun. <laughs> right. So why find the gun, Miss Seymour? Hi. Hey. 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 Are you a little nervous about seeing the dentist? Oh, no, no. I'm not nervous. I... Oh, it's only going to hurt a little. Oh, no, no, you don't understand. I don't want my teeth examined. Oh, of course you want your teeth examined. Say, ah. No. Say, ah. Ah. Oh, your mouth's a mess, kid. You got cavities. You got plaque. You're impacted. You're absolutely obsessed. I am. We're going to have to conduct a complete oral examination. We'll stop with that wisdom, too. No. Come on, Seymour. We'll just rip that little booker right out of there, what you say. I gotta go! Everyone's got time for dental hygiene, Seymour. Try to see the results in your collective mouth. 
Okay. This could happen to you. It could? Unless we take immediate action. Let's get started. <laughs> hey! Are you giving me Novocaine? What for? Dulls is in sin. But it'll hurt. Only till you pass out. <laughs> oh, what's that? That's the drill, Seymour. But it's rusty. It's an antique. <laughs> they don't make instruments like this anymore. Sturdy. Heavy. <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. This is gonna be a pleasure! <gasps> I'm gonna need some gas for this one. Oh, thank God. I thought you weren't gonna use any. Oh, the gas isn't for you, Seymour. <laughs> It's for me. I find that a little go gas before we begin increases my pleasure enormously. <gasps> As a matter of fact, I'm gonna use my special gas mask. Just relax, Seymour. <coughs> I'll be back in a moment. Now, do it now, while he's gassing himself to a palpable stupor. The timing's ideal and the moment is stupor. Too ready and fire and to blow the sick bastard away. <laughs> now, do it now, just a flicker of pressure right here on the trigger. And Audrey won't have to, to put up with a pig for another day. <laughs> now, for the girl, now, for the plant, and now, yes, I will. <laughs> oh, but I can't. Oh, boys. I'm colliding now! All the things we're gonna do to your mouth! <laughs> 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 well, I think I've enough of this stuff now. I'm just gonna take the mask off. Now. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't worry, boy. It gets better from here. <laughs> ever since his mysterious disappearance. You miss him, don't you? Miss him? I never felt so relieved as when they told me he'd vanished. Not to mention all the money I saved on the air consoles and expenditures. Then what's the matter? I feel guilty, I guess. I mean, if it was foul play or some terrible accident of some kind, then it's probably my fault, you see. Because secretly, I wished it. Audrey, you shouldn't waste one minute worrying about that creep. There's a lot of guys who give anything to go out with you. Nice guys. I don't deserve a nice guy, Seymour. Well, that's not true. You don't know the half of it. I've led a terrible life. Well, Audrey, don't. I deserve to creep like Orange Scrabello, DTS. You know where I met him? In the gutter. The gutter? The gutter. It's a night spot. I work at my next up when we're thinking much money. They put on cheap and tasteless outfits. Not nice ones like this. Hello? And there's your apparel. I'm doing... Oh, Audrey, that's all behind you now. You don't have to be ashamed of anything. You're a very nice person, and I always knew you were. Underneath the handcuffs and the bandages, you know what I saw? A girl I respected. I still do. Lift up your head. 
Wash off your mascara. Here, take my Kleenex. Wipe that lipstick away. <laughs> Show me your face. Clean as the morning. I know things were bad, but now they're okay. Suddenly see more. <laughs> is standing beside you. You don't need no makeup. Don't have to pretend. Suddenly, Seymour <laughs> is here to provide you sweet understanding. pretty strange, Mom. I had a pretty strange afternoon, son. After my lawyer's appointment, I was called to the police station. The police? Yes, it seems they made a routine investigation into this person's motorcycle dentist, and when they did, they found a Mushnick Skidrow florist bag <laughs> in his office. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I asked myself, Seymour. And then I began to think <coughs> about certain things I've noticed happening around here of late late. Little red dots all over the little ones? Oh, uh, I spilled some wine punch, and it's stained. <laughs> Hard to keep things clean around here, isn't it? Especially when they only remove the garbage once a month. What's 
that supposed to... Oh, wait, where are you going? If you want something removed in a hurry, it's best not to dispose of it on Skid Row. Oh, what are you talking about? This, a dentist's uniform! She's got your number now. I saw it last week and I didn't think twice. She knows just what you've done. Yeah, it's a little red dot. You got no place to hide. And then I catch you kissing the dentist. Girl. You got nowhere to run. And it doesn't look like a motive. She knows your life of crime. Once he's out of the way, you have been right. I think it's serpentine. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Then how do you explain this? A picture of a baseball cap? Your baseball cap. The police found it in Cabela's office, showed it to me, and asked if I could identify it. Oh, did you? No, but they didn't know about the dots. Uniform, the girlfriend. I'm innocent. Then come with me to the police and tell them that. She's got her facts all straight. Just on my conscience, Leslie. You know she's on your trail. If not, I'll go tell them myself. She gonna turn you in. Well, will you come? They gonna put you in jail. Okay. Well, she's up. USDA we'll Prime. Come on, come on, think about those offers. Come on, come on, the future of Audrey. Come on, come on, ain't no time so squeamish. Come on, come on, I swear on my sports. When she's gone, the world will be yours. Uh, don't you want to collect the dirty seats so you can deposit them in the morning? You put them in the safe, didn't you? Uh, I forgot the combination. You forgot the combination? A thousand dollars, where is it? In the plant. In the plant? It's the safest place, right? Nobody will ever look in there, huh? You're telling me the money is really inside the plant. So how am I supposed to get it? Just knock. Gardening tips. Far from now on Sundays at four. TV's first home gardening program. You'll make a mint and our ratings will soar. You say that me shall inherit. You know the book is a lie. It's not a question of merit. It's not the man to supply. You say that me gonna get it. And you're a mean little guy. Lover, 
show me the editor's wife. We want your face on the cover. Or do some a third issue of life. Oh, yes, the front has life magazine. Yeah. Now it's an offer we sell around. We'll send someone down. Let's be Thursday. For just a few and your beautiful plan. <laughs> So, this is Seymour Crowborn. Let me try to reach you, baby. Boy, have you all lines been busy. Did you get a telegram? I don't think so. Well, it's a good damn thing I came down in person then. Pleased to meet you, kid. Skip, snip, William Morris Agency. Forget the cable we sent you. It's nice to meet me. The pleasure is yours. I like my firm to introduce you. We'd like to book you on lecturing tours. College Campus Rotary Club. The kind of bookings my office can do. Show the plan, then talk, answer questions. It's educational, lucrative too. My future's starting, I've got to let it. Stick with that plan, and G, my bank account will thrive. What am I saying? No way, forget it. It's much too dangerous to keep that plant alive. I take these offers, that means more killing. Who knew success would come with nasty, awful strings? I sign these contracts, that means I'm willing to keep on doing bloody, awful, evil things. No, no, there's only so far you can bend. No, no. This nightmare must come to an end. No, no, you've got no alternative. Seymour will avoid, though it means you'll be broke again and unemployed. It's the only solution, it can't be avoided. The vegetable must be destroyed. But then there's Audrey, lovely Audrey. If life were tawdry and impoverished as before, she might not like me. She might not want me. Without my plant, she might not love me anymore. They say the meek shall inherit. Why do I sigh? Now, it's a week ago. Look, just hold up one more night, all right? 
Life magazine will be here to take a picture in the morning. And then, then, you'll never be hungry again. Oh, so you're saying you'll find me somebody? Yeah, you'll never be hungry again. Hmm. You know what, I'll buy it. Come on, feed me. Come on, feed me, Crowbone. Come on, give me the meat. Just shut Come up, on, will you? Just shut up. Come just on. Shut up. Eat some eat, eat while you're driving me crazy. Me. Shut up. Ooh, shut, up. Oh, shut, up. shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What's the matter with me? Don't you think I know it needs food? Don't you think I know it will die if I don't get it some food and soon? Don't you think I'm trying to think of someone, something, some way? Tomorrow. Just, just go now, please. I can't leave you in this condition. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about anything. <coughs> Psst. Feed me now. <laughs> Under no circumstances. How about now? I will not, so stop asking. Now? Look. How about I run down to the corner and grab you some rare roast beef, huh? What the f- Uh-uh, no way, not happening, man. Look, it's my final offer, yes or no? <sighs> well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Good. I don't think you're getting any dessert. <laughs> yeah, no, you're a funny guy, Seymour. Duh. Please, 
Please, Audrey, I need you. No. I just said the strangest thing just now. Oh, it said that Orin and Mrs. Mushnik were already inside. It's true. We fed them to it. And that's what made it so big and strong and you so famous. I've done terrible things, Audrey, but not to you, never to you. But I want you to, so what? What? When I die, which should be very shortly, feed me to the plant so I can live to bring you all the wonderful things that you deserve. Audrey, you don't know what you're talking about. But I do. And if I'm in the plant, oh, then I'm part of the plant. So in a way, we'll always be together. That's him, Mr. Martin. He's right in there. Thanks, sweetheart. Wait for me. Crowborn, Mr. Crowborn. Go away. Patrick Martin, licensing a marketing division. World Botanical Enterprises. I've got a guilt edge proposition for you, boy. I'm not interested. Allow me to explain in more detail. It's a very simple licensing deal. We take plant cuttings, develop fortitudes, and sell them to florists across the nation. Pretty soon, every household in America will have one. I've got a truck waiting outside and some pots. We'll start taking cuttings right away. Imagine, boy, all to choose everywhere. Why, with the right advertising, this could be bigger than hula hoops. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Much bigger. That's what you've had in mind all along, isn't it? Every household in America. Thousands of you eating. Well, no shit, Sherlock. We're not just talking about one hundred five here. We're talking about thousands of you eating. And I want to thank you. You're a monster, and so am I. Ain't no doubt about it. You ain't the only thing that I ever loved! Oh, 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 so bad! Take that! Oh. And that! <laughs> and that! And that! And that! Give up, Crowborn! Here! Rat poison! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Fuck! Give up, small fry! You may be tough on the outside, but in there! Come on! In that pot! I hate you a bit! Come Open on. up! Open up! Yeah. Shut
own. <sighs> okay, girls, are you costume? It takes some plant cutting and replant them in those pots. So Jack will be waiting outside.
Nossa, eu sou finado,